most leaders will approach that very rationally because it is their job as leaders to drive prioritization. Leaders are supposed to prioritize. They're also supposed to provide us, just as any good manager would, the proper resources we need to do our job. Right? Asking you to go do something that you're not either trained for or don't have the tools for is unfair. So we, need, we either need proper prioritization or proper tools. And that's any manager's job. We're just elevating it now to, to a leadership level. So don't be afraid to have that conversation. It's, it is the expectation of any leader, just as your team expects that of you. So don't be afraid to have those. So try that approach, author those. Now, again, if they're completely irrational, that may be an indication to you, you need to, you need to go find another home. Uh, but offer kind of options like that. Option one, option two, option three. Yeah. I love that. And um, I'm going to bring up the next question because I feel like this ties in. Uh, because this individual asks, I'm doing too much of the work of my team. What can I do? So I really feel like that's almost like that next step of, you know, here's here's our further options and what's going to happen if you choose A versus B. Yeah. So if you find yourself doing too much work of your team, first, let's give you grace. It's probably because at one point you sat in your team seats and you know that job and you were probably really good at it at one point in time, which is what mm -hmm. got you promoted to the role you're in now. And you consider yourself maybe a servant leader or a humble leader. Regardless, you like to roll up your sleeves, be alongside your team, help your team. And that's all great. So your, the spirit and intention behind that is good. However, when we find ourselves doing too much of the work of our team, what's happening is we're stunting their growth. So there's probably cases when you're doing stuff that are stretch jobs for them, which would make them stronger and better that you're doing for them. It's almost like, think of this analogy. It's like you're, you're a trainer in the gym and your team is under your care to train them and get them stronger. And so the entire workout, you're just doing all the heavy lifting and they're drinking coffee watching you. Well, yeah, someone's getting stronger. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. <laughs> not your team. So we really wanna push them to take this on. So this is where author editor comes in. So if you've read my book on author editor, which I know you have, then you know that it's all about making sure we're not spending as much time in the author seat and we're spending more time in the editor seat as managers. In other words, we're asking your team, hey team, why don't you come to me with a plan? Why don't you come to me with how you're gonna handle this? And let's talk about it. And you help kind of shape that. So the, the traits of the author are they take ownership, they show initiative, they display critical thinking. And we want that, and who doesn't want that for every member of their team? Like, that's what we want. We want our team to take ownership. They see a problem, they own it. They take initiative to solve it. And they're thinking through it. They're displaying critical thinking. And they bring us what they're gonna do, and then we use our wisdom and experience to help kind of shape their thinking. So ultimately, they would approach it just like we would. So you wanna make sure the conversations are more about them bringing you ideas and a plan versus you either doing it for them or telling them how to do it. And that's one more important point around this. Doing it for them and telling them how to do it takes a lot more of your time versus editing. Um, and it doesn't develop them. Mm -hmm. So we really wanna develop them because if our goal as leaders is to spend more time on the business rather than in the business, the only path there is developing a high performing team under you. So let me say that again. The only path to getting you on the business versus in the business is having a really high performing team under you. And the only way to do that is to push it on them to solve the problems on their own. Get them stronger. Get them lifting heavy weight. So you're drinking coffee, watching them do all the heavy lifting, instead of them drinking coffee, watching you do all the heavy lifting. 